Hey guys, there's nothing better during the holiday season than the idea of you and your kids spending some quality time together building a beautiful gingerbread house. Until the kids lost patience, can't say I blame them, the entire thing crumbled. So this year I decided to step up my gingerbread game big time. I did a bunch of research and came up with a ton of super fun and easy tricks to make sure your kids have a blast and you still end up with something that you can call a masterpiece. Today, I'm gonna to share all of them with you. Here is how we did it. These things are so tough to build. They take time and patience, a steady hand, and probably a bunch of other things that not every kid brings to the table. Fortunately, I have a solution. These bad boys. And to avoid baking, I opted to build with graham crackers, which, very conveniently, fit exactly to the size of a tissue box. You guys, this is like the coolest hack I've ever seen. And then for the roof, I added a little bit of extra support with some smaller graham crackers. And if you're wondering how we got the graham crackers to break perfectly every time, we just wrapped them in a damp paper towel, microwaved them for 10 seconds, problem solved. With this trick, I was also able to create these tiny, adorable gingerbread mini houses for each of the kids to decorate, and then we could put them together in a Christmassy gingerbread village. Now it's time to decorate. Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. But as a mom, I can tell you, this part comes with a lot of mess and a little bit of fighting from the kids. My solution was to serve up all the candy and decorative pieces in muffin tins, which made everything really convenient. Mom, Yeah. can we have a piece of candy? See, this is why it's actually okay to use hot glue because then the kids cannot eat the entire gingerbread house. And added bonus, there was no fighting between the kids. Ooh, that's a great job, Ryan. <gasps> Ryan, it looks so <laughs> nice. Where do you want your royal icing, right? And then here. And then right there. Did I miss any other spots? Yes. How about your nose? <laughs> yeah, yeah jump I got in my mouth. In your mouth. Ah. We figured out a few tips and tricks along the way that I wanted to pass along to you because when I discovered them, they totally blew me away. First, you guys, check out this amazing peppermint pathway. This thing looks impressive and it's actually super easy to do. First, take some aluminum foil and create the shape you want your pathway to take. Then copy that shape, place them onto some more foil on a baking sheet, and drop in rows of three candies all the way down your path. Last, pop them into the oven 275 degrees for about 10 minutes. Let them cool and you're done. Do that. Ooh, perfect. Perfect, I think. Really awesome. Yeah. <gasps> it looks so good. <laughs> now for some trees. I found a technique that's fun and easy for kids to do, but gives you a pretty convincing tree. First, take a sugar cone, paint it with some warm corn syrup, sprinkle on a few coats of sanding sugar. So cool, right? Mm -hmm. And a touch of powdered sugar. It's snowing. And you guys, I mean, these are pretty cool. My favorite detail is this really unique roof track. Take some frosted mini wheats and tile them over your graham crackers, using some hot glue, of course, alternating between frosting up and down. That is it, and the result is so cool. And if you're wondering about those windows back there, we simply took plain jelly cookies and discovered they made the perfect stained glass windows. Wee, wee. You can take five candy canes, you want pretty good size ones, snap the curve off of them and hot glue them together. Let's do this, baby. Grab yourself a little bit of licorice and untwist it. We used red vines. Throw that over the side, glue some sour rope onto the bottom and you have got yourself such a cute swing set. Nailed it. Perfect, as we discovered, for a gummy bear. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Get my some pretzels, hand them over. Break some pretzels into small pieces and you have the perfect liner for that awesome peppermint pathway. <laughs> it also tastes good. Oh, because you dipped it in the icing first? <laughs> <laughs> to finish up our gingerbread village, we needed a few extra little elements to really bring the whole thing to life and here are some of the tricks we used. 
first, a marshmallow and a couple dots, one of them cut in half, make the perfect little waddling penguin. To create some realistic smoke coming out of your chimney, all you need to do is stretch a cotton ball and pop it in there. This is a very cool effect. Oh, high fives! High fives, high fives! Breath. Gingerbreading! All right, what's everybody's favorite part? Oh, my favorite part is all the like embellishments, like the snowman, the snowman, and the trees. What's your favorite part of this whole village? Everything. Everything? That's good. My favorite favorite part is like the little embellishments and the swing set and the trees. I think this tree right here is my favorite. Like, look how the powdered sugar is on there. It looks yeah. just like snow. Yeah. What about this? I think it's kind of cool how it looks like it's snowing on the roof. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. you know what I like but about that? Problem. How we how we um use that cereal that actually had the white on it. Yeah. All right. We hope you guys have fun making your own gingerbread villages. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you guys next year. Bye. Bye, guys. You just couldn't resist, huh, buddy?